So you're a tech savvy individual who values the latest and greatest when it comes to gaming technology. And if you're looking for a gaming monitor that delivers the best gaming experience and lightning fast refresh rates, then you know spending a bit of money on a good gaming monitor is a good way to level up your gameplay. Well, if you need a monitor with advanced features and the latest tech, this gaming monitor could be the perfect choice for you, especially when you consider the price versus the competition. This is the Philips Momentum 5000 27 inch monitor. It has a Quad HD IPS 240 Hertz display with nano color tech designed to take your viewing experience to the next level. This monitor offers a full range of features designed to enhance the way you play games. And if you really must, you could use it for work. But now let's take a closer look at what set this version of the Momentum 5000 apart from the rest of the Momentums in the series so that you can get a sense of what to expect if you do decide to buy one. And if you do decide to buy one, use that affiliate link below this video. That would help me out. So the code name of this version is the 27M1F5500. It boasts a Quad HD resolution, 2560 by 1440. Now this particular resolution could make it the perfect partner for an Xbox Series S. Since the Series S outputs Quad HD at 120 hertz, it could also be suitable for a PS5 as a PS5 can also output Quad HD. But both consoles are limited to that 120 hertz refresh rate. So to truly see it at its full potential, you'd need to hook it up to a gaming PC with a good graphics card. Now, I do realize some of you might be thinking, why would I get Quad HD instead of 4K? Well, if you're getting a 27 inch monitor, the difference between Quad HD and 4K isn't that noticeable. However, if you want 4K, I would recommend going for a 32 inch monitor. And there is a 32 inch version of the Momentum 5000. That one could be more suitable for you if you really must have 4K. Now I've been using this monitor with my PS5 and my MacBook Pro M1. And my experience so far has been very good. All of the details that you need to see when you're video editing or when you're playing games are all really crystal clear. The color accuracy is excellent out of the box. And of course you can manually dial in your own colors and calibrate the screen if you need to, or you could just use the presets, which honestly are very good straight out of the box. The display also has a wide color gamut with the aforementioned nano color tech, allowing 98% coverage of the DCI P3 color gamut. Put simply, this means that this monitor can display vibrant and accurate colors. And as well as that, it's also got a one millisecond input response time. And this is key when it comes to games like Call of Duty. For example, someone playing on their TV might have an eight to 14 millisecond input lag response. If you've got a one millisecond input lag response time, this gives you a massive advantage and it can be the difference between life or death on Call of Duty. And there are several other features to this monitor that make it an excellent choice for any home or office setup, as well as gaming setups. It has a low blue mode and flicker free technology for eye comfort, which makes it suitable for extended gaming sessions as well as long work days. It's also been VESA Display HDR 600 certified, which means when it comes to IPS panels, the contrast ratio is very good. It's also very energy efficient with many green features to help reduce the carbon footprint. And there's also a great feature which I haven't had the chance to use properly. It is the multi view feature. So if you have two devices plugged into the monitor at the same time, you can actually split screen them for multitasking and productivity. So that could be very useful for some of you guys. And when it comes to the all important IO, the ins and outs, the ports on the back, it has everything you'd expect from a gaming monitor. It has two HDMI 2.0 ports. You've got two 1.4 display ports, a HDCP 1.4, a HDCP 2.2. You've also got one USB-B upstream, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 downstream with two of those supporting fast charge. That's the orange ones you see here. And then you've also got your audio out as well. In terms of design, the Philips Momentum 5000 M1 5500 is sleek, it's modern. It's got slim bezels on all four sides with a bit of a chin at the bottom. The back of the monitor is pretty standard and the user controls consist of just one clickable joystick. And if you're a gamer, this is gonna be incredibly easy to use for you. The on-screen display for the settings is pretty standard and the stand itself I would describe as modern and stylish and well built. And if you don't want to use the stand itself and fit it to a bracket, you can use a 100 by 100 VESA mount. But if you do want to use the base that Philips describes as a smart design, you'll be happy to know it's constructed from metal. The footprint is relatively small. It is adjustable. It can swivel 45 degrees. It can be raised up to 13 centimeters. 
It also has a 20 degree tilt and 90 degree rotation. So this means yes, you can have it in that portrait mode if you want to. So this means you can find the perfect viewing angle for your needs. And there's even a hook on the back of the stand for your headphones. Overall, the Philips 5000 27 inch M15500 is a top of the line monitor that delivers an impressive viewing experience, whether you're watching movies or gaming or working. And it does have all of the features that you will need to get the most from your content. So if you are in the market for a new monitor, check out the Philips Momentum 5000 series. There'll be links in the description below if you wanna check out the latest prices. And if you're a serious gamer and you're thinking about leveling up your gaming rig and all of the peripherals, then check out this video that's on screen right now. It's about AOC's gaming peripherals. They are awesome and really competitively priced. Check that out, I'll see you in the next one. Don't be late.